Hello friends, this is Anand Pai, founder of Academy in Pursuit of Engineering Excellence Apex. Today we are going to start with the fluid mechanics. Now, when we say fluid mechanics, before understanding fluid mechanics, first we need to know what is fluid. Now what is a fluid? Fluid is something different from solid. Fluid consists of gases as well as liquid. But what is that that differentiates solids and liquids scientifically? In the sense, technically we are going to tell the difference between a fluid and a solid. Now, we have to understand fluid and solid from the ones we have studied in high school. In high school, we would study that the fluid would occupy the shape of the container. That would be a liquid, not a fluid in general. A liquid which will, for, will occupy the shape of the container. Solid won't. This is the type of things we would have seen in our uh, what do you say, high school uh, physics, right? But that doesn't hold for gases. Now, gas as well as liquid together is clubbed as fluids. Now, what is the difference between that fluid, fluids and solids? Fluids comprises of gases as well as liquids. Now, what is that which is common between li liquids and gases, which is different from solids? which makes us to categorize to the materials into fluids and the solids. Now, let us see this. Okay. Now, initially, when we uh, look at solids, solids deform. Now, how does solid deform? Solid deforms in two ways. What are the two ways in which the solid deforms? If you see here, the solid deforms, one, when we put pressure from all the sides. This is the first way the solids will deform. The second way the solid will deform is shear stresses. Now, the first way, the normal forces when we put, if you say normal forces, I may mean to say tension as well as compression. There is deformation because of the, uh, because of the force being applied on that. Now, if you take tension, for instance, when you pull something, what is going to happen depending on the force, the deformation is there. More the force, more the deformation. Less the force, less the deformation. Still more the force, still more the deformation. But there is a limit. After the elasticity limit, it is going to go towards plasticity. Now, what is plasticity? Now, plasticity is near about flow. It's going to deform continuously. I will tell you about that. Okay? When the plasticity is there, there is a flow of material. Now, if you consider any place where there is uh, uh, what do you say, yielding which is happening. Yielding has some relations with flow. How is that? We will see it later on. Now, in case of solids, what happens? When you put a force, there is deformation and the deformation is proportional to the force and it stops afterwards. It doesn't, uh, until you increase the force, the deformation doesn't increase. If you decrease the force, then only there is a decrease in deformation. Otherwise, there is nothing. Now, here, before understanding flow, we have to understand shear stress. Now, here we have, in this figure, we have given a solid or a material in general, which is subjected to shear stress. Now, when there is a shear stress or the shear forces, and I'm sorry, I have to correct myself. It's a shear force that I have applied. When I apply a shear force, what happens? There is deformation. And this deformation is called the shear deformation. Okay. This is the shear deformation or I can say shear strain. Now, shear strain, now whenever you say strain, strain is change in length divided by original length for, for a, uh, how to say, if you consider in terms of tensile strength, uh, tensile uh, strain, it is change in length per original length. So, length by length. Now, in case of shear strain, shear strain is also length by length because angle is actually length by length. Like angle is the, uh, in case of SI units, angle is in terms of radians. Radians is a ratio of radius by arc length, length by length. So angle doesn't have any dimensions because it is the ratio of two lengths. Similar way, here when I say shear strain, it is the ratio of length by length. See here, this gamma is the angle which is given by tan inverse of this distance by this distance. Now, when the angle is very small, tan theta is equal to theta. Now, keep in mind when I say when angle is small, 
tan theta is equal to theta. Theta has to be in radians, not in degrees. You can check in your calculators. In your calculators, if you put tan theta as tan 1 degree, tan 1 degree will not come as 1. Okay? You have to put tan 1 degree, you have to convert that 1 degree into radians and then see its uh, units. Okay? So, in terms of radians, when I say only then tan theta is equal to theta for small angles. Okay? So, let us go further. Now, in case of solids, what is going to happen? Once, depending on the magnitude of the shear force, there is a shear strain. So, more the shear force, more the shear strain. Less the shear force, less the shear strain. Once the shear force is applied, there is a strain. And when you remove it, if it is in an el elastic limit, then it will come back. If it has gone to the plasticity, some deformation will remain. But it is going to come back a bit. Okay. But what in case of fluids? In case of fluids, the difference is that as you put a a small force, it is going to deform. But there is a difference. As, as and when the force exists, the deformation continues. The deformation doesn't stop. So if you put one Newton force, for a solid, there is a specified shear strain. But for a fluid, you put one Newton force, there is a strain. As long as you put the one Newton force, there is going to be continuous strain. That means, the shear strain will continue. Now observe here. This, the initial one was a solid. Solid would stop till here for the same force. But fluid will continue. Are you getting that point? So the fluid will continue to deform. So what is flow here? Now this continuous deformation is called flow. So what is flow here? Flow means continuous deformation under the action of force. Now solids also deform. Solids also flows. But when the shear stress induced in it is more than the uh, stress induced, uh, stress during, uh, more than the yield stress, only then this kind of plastic deformation or flow is going to happen. Now, so flow means continuous deformation under the action of force. And what is a fluid? Fluid is a substance that flows under the action of force, however infinitesimally small force it might be. So, whatever the small force it is going to happen or going to be uh, applied on the fluid, there is going to be continuous deformation. This is what is a flow. So, now what is the difference between solid and a liquid or solid and a uh, fluid? Solid deforms under the action of force. Fluid also deforms. But fluid continues to deform. It does not stop. For any small uh, shear stress, uh, any small shear stress or any small shear force. Even if it is 0.001 uh, Newton, the fluid is going to deform and the deformation is not going to stop, continuous deformation and continuous is, uh, the deformation is not going to stop until that force is removed. Once the force is removed, only then it is going to stop. This is in case of only shear stress, not in case of normal stress. Normal stress is shown in terms of pressure. In case of pressure, when you have a hydrostatic force applied on the fluid, there is no much difference between a fluid and a solid. So, this is the difference. So, fluid and solid difference comes in the shearing action. So, in case of uh, solids, shear deformation, which is proportional to the force. In case of fluids, shear deformation, which is not proportional to the force. Also, there is continuous shear stress, shear deformation until and unless there is a force until and unless that force is removed. So, until there is a force, there is shear deformation and continuous shear def deformation. And this is what is called flow. So, I hope you have understood the difference between a solid and a fluid. So, this understanding will be helpful to understand furthermore topics in fluid mechanics. So, I will stop the, uh, stop the uh, lecture now. Okay. So, best of luck and subscribe to my channel and uh, click that bell icon so that whatever new videos I am uh, posting, you will get a notification for it. Thank you very much.